out of the Paramount Church going to San Antonio, Texas. Rudy and Nelly Lugo. It was an exciting time in August of 2019 when we were announced. Just a little before that, we were in the process of buying a home in La Mirada, California. God just put it on my heart to stop and wait. Conference of 2019, Pastor Omar asked us and we said yes to be sent out. We felt San Antonio, Texas was on our heart to move to. We didn't know what to do because of the pandemic, so we started meeting online. God started to bring increase to our Bible study. Uh, we decided to go in person and we started to build a following. We officially launched in October of 2020. The heart of the pandemic, God was doing something new and he still is. We started to grow. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. very difficult to find a church building when you're a small fellowship because nobody wants to rent to you. You're not selling a product, so how are you going to earn income to pay for the lease? And so that was a challenge for us until I came upon an ad in Craigslist for an office building. And I came into this office and it was an old warehouse full of supplies, wood. It didn't look like a, a sanctuary, but God said, this is home. We were blessed with this new building about three months ago and uh, we've just been working on it, but we're blessed. Even though there's a small parking lot up front, we've partnered with the Down Syndrome Association next door, the school here. They've offered us their parking on Sunday, so that's been a blessing. Here's the sanctuary. This was an old warehouse space. We were able to build a platform, insulate the walls, put a new HVAC system in. We were blessed by that. And we were blessed by these, these chairs right here. Thank you, Pastor Angel from Reclaim Pflugerville. Our church is growing from me and my wife coming not knowing anybody. And now there are friends that have become family and there's a huge need for the Lord. And there's families where there's kids that don't have their parents together. And so we will see kids from across the neighborhood. They'll come in and join us. So we really wanna build a sense of belonging here. Pastor Omar has always said, belong, believe and behave. The culture we wanna establish here is that when you come in here, come as you are, but allow God to change you. It's okay to lift your hands. It's okay to worship God just you know, in your own space. And it's okay to come to the altar. That's all stuff that's new in our community we feel. I would say about 85% of our church is not from Texas. They've come from different areas of the United States and they all ended up in San Antonio for some reason or another. It wasn't because of what I did or what I said, but of God drawing them here. People sowed a lot of money to get this church up and running and you have to jump two feet in because you give God a chance to move. If you have a heart for the Lord, He can use you. But if you feel the calling of the Lord to start a new work, take it from me. I, we didn't know anybody. We didn't know where we were going to live, where we were going to work. Is it scary? Yes. But look at the times God has come through in your life. All those trials you go through, God is setting you up and making you stronger, preparing you for what He has for you in the future. Just trust the Lord and know that He's in control and He's the one that provides. He'll make a way. Our vision is to reach, restore, release and we really impart that vision to everyone that comes here. We want them to know when they walk in these doors, no matter where they're coming from, or where they've been, what they've done, there's a place for them here.